Hi everyone! Um, I just want to make a follow-up video to my last video. Um, I've been wanting to make other videos, but I didn't want to make one until I was able to respond to uh, the outpouring of like love and kindness and generosity um, that the internet showed me after that video. So I just want to take a moment and just say thank you to everyone who responded, who commented, who sent me a message, anything um, after my last video. I took them all into me and I felt your love and I'm so, so, so appreciative of it. Um, I also want to touch on uh, a post I made on my Instagram about um, being pen pals with people. I got a message from someone on Tumblr a few months ago saying that she would love to be my pen pal and I thought, man, that's the coolest idea ever. I've never had a pen pal before and I thought that it was just like the most amazing thing. So I put it to my Instagram and I said, hey, does anyone else want to be my pen pal? And I got about 70 comments in response, which I didn't expect, um, which was a little overwhelming, but fine. Um, and I've been getting so many amazing letters from all over the country, from other countries, it's incredible. Some people have sent packages with weird little stickers and bath bombs and books and all kinds of other amazing things and I don't know what I did to deserve them but I'm so 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 grateful that all of you exist and you're giving your goodness to me so I can be good like you. <laughs> and there's just been so much thought put into some of these like this person sent me this um, letter that they like watercolor painted. Focus on me. Look at what they did. This is incredible. And like, why? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this at all. And then other people cover their shit with like cool stickers. And like, I don't know, all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. But the best letters, I mean, aren't necessarily the flashiest letters. I've gotten some amazing, incredible letters that made me sob <laughs> um, on notebook paper. And I feel like no matter what I do, my letters will never stand up to the incredible letters that you're all sending me. So I'm sorry in advance if writing to me is not uh, as glamorous as, it, as you thought it would be. I'm not that interesting. Spoiler alert. But I try my best. <laughs> like I said, I've gotten a lot of letters. So uh, if you've written me a letter and I haven't written back, I'm so sorry. I just uh, got a little overwhelmed by uh, the response to my post, um, but I am still writing them and I'm still getting them out. I just am very, very slow. It, it doesn't, you know, when you're like depressed, you like don't want to do anything and like doing simple tasks like writing a letter seem like so hard, even though they're not. But um, that's what's happening to me. So um, this currently is my stack of letters I haven't responded to. Um, two of which because I was in, uh, I didn't have any Canadian stamps, um, but I do now, so I will be responding to those soon. And then these two are postcards, which I just got postcards to respond to, postcard length letters. And this is my favorite letter that I've gotten so far um, from this amazing um, girl named Sam. And um, I haven't been able to respond to it yet because I cry too much every time I read it. So that's what's happening there. But anyway, I just got home from Florida. I was there for about five weeks. Uh, I went down to go to Halloween Horror Nights, which is my favorite event of the year, obviously, and I ended up uh, extending my trip twice because of uh, different things that I wanted to go to. Um, m most importantly, I wanted to see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them with um, Diagon Entertainment. Our stage manager actually rented out a theater for us so we could all go and see the movie uh, for free, um, which was incredible because, of course, everyone that works in Diagon Alley is a total freaking nerd, so it was... Uh, the best possible experience I could have had. Um, by the way, I get so many questions from people all day long about stupid stuff and no one has asked me my opinion on Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, so whatever, none of you are my real friends. <laughs> I just went to the post office and I picked up a few more letters, so I will be responding to those after I respond to this first batch. Once again, if you want to send a letter, I am definitely going to respond to them. I am just very, very slow. But as you go from place to place, Slow and steady wins the race. When I was in elementary school, we did some sort of play about the tortoise and the hare, and they said that, and it really stuck in my brain. I think about it all the time. Normal, totally normal stuff. Anyway, again, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that responded to my previous video. Honestly, it really helped me a lot. Um, I started going to therapy more regularly. 
I continue to receive messages from people checking in on me, checking up on me, making sure that I'm okay, and I am eternally grateful for all of you. Can you not for like five seconds? It's getting easier. I am obviously still affected by it every single day. Um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about my brother, but I can think about him now and talk about him in a way that it's not necessarily just me being like, oh yeah, my brother, he's dead. Now I can talk about nice things that happened with my brother and think back on them and recall events and not feel instantly depressed, which is really nice because I would like to be able to think about my brother and remember all the happy things without remembering the sad at the same time. That's the ultimate goal. So again, I can never say thank you enough. I'm so, so grateful for all of you beautiful beings for being in my life and around my life. Until next time, I love you.